Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web. And in this video we're going to be having a look at the first of the big box expansions for another ASUS. This is Under Siege. Okay, here we are with Under Siege. And uh, let's get the wrapper off as usual so we can have a look properly at the box before we delve inside. So, what do we have? There we go, as per usual. Nice leather effect style to the box. And absolutely nothing whatsoever, apart from a picture of the Colosseum on the back. So we don't know what's in here. All we do know is that it's a game for one to four players. It takes 45 minutes, ages 14 plus. So let's open up and see. There we go. Right, we start off with the rule book. And there we go, we have missions in here. And then we have the enemy, oh, all sorts of different missions. And then we have new rules and the new characters. There we go. So, I'll put that to one side as I take the lid off this. And all we have in here are cards, cards, minis. And underneath we have the boards and the tokens. So, let's get some of these tokens out to have a look. Okay, so first off, I'll put the book over there, and we'll have a look at the tokens. We have some barricades, we have like walls, and roofs, we have the character um, tokens, and various other things. You can see that's a different type of design on the back of these tokens. So I'm not sure what they want those ones do. And then we have the 3D scenery for the um, aqueduct. So that's what those tokens would go with. and uh, fires, little camp fires, more aqueduct tiles and treasure, um, treasure chests. I'm assuming they will tell you how much treasure is in, I'm not sure, I have looked through the rules. And then we have the big gates and more walls or whatever they may be for the aqueduct. What's on the beat? What's on the back of it? I have the other side of the gates and the water for the aqueduct. So there we are. That's can either be I suppose an aqueduct or a viaduct. Oops, I've got them in the curbs. <coughs> Okay, next we have the playing tiles, and with this game, I think it's a fairly specific playing tile that we use. And it's the Colosseum. There we are. That's the playing surface. <coughs> now, obviously bad luck of it. I've not quite fitted it together correctly. It should go that way. Those are the way the shadows fall on that. 
but yes that's the um, Colosseum on the other side we have a cobbled area it could be the centre of a town or whatever I would say that one goes into the they do match up pretty well Not, I doubt these would be um, what do you call it uh, these would be interchangeable but there we are that's the um, that's the board I'll just zoom in so you can see a little bit of the detail on this particular set there we are we have little puddles you can just about see here you have little patches of dirt where the tiles or the cobbles have come up and in some cases you'll have uh, broken barrels <coughs> uh, broken tables and even the odd uh, where are we? where are we? where are we? where are we? there we are the odd torch lying along, lying on the floor. So there we are. That's just going to zoom out now. Okay, so that's the um, that's the tiles, that's the tokens. Now what we need to look at are the cards and the minis. So I'll get this uh, camera setup changed so we're down to the table and we can have a look properly okay here we are for the uh, cards and we have the um, character here of the herald or the lancer or the valkyrie depending on what level she's at but she starts off as a herald we'll have a look at the mini a bit later but there's all her stats. Cannot for the life of me remember what they all mean. Because I've only played it once. But there we are. Let's have a look at the answers. And that's that. Next we have these bigger cards. These are the monsters. We have the Jaeger. Let's just zoom in a moment. Okay, so we have... <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have the Jaeger. Level 1, this is level 2. We have the Lanschnecht. I was trying to work out whether or not th this was a misprint because we seem to have German words on it but looking at all the details on it it's all in English so we're okay. <laughs> and then we have the commander. These are on the bad guys I think. We have commander, commander, commander of Frunsberg. That's his name. I don't know. I don't know whether that's his title. Not a clue. And then we have the characters of Giovanni. Same characters. Other character. He's again one of the bad guys. The only character we have in this is the uh, one I showed you with the big cards. Then we have the Spanish Landschnecht. And then we have some blank ones. What the blank ones are for, I don't know. But, let's have a look at these little cards, shall we? Let's put these big ones away, first of all. So I don't get any of them damaged or lost. Because I'm a clumsy so-and-so and I have a tendency of knocking things on the floor. 
next. So we'll have a look at these little cards. <coughs> and we have Ragnarok armor. We have heavy armor. Helmet of command. A lance. Ragnarok armor again. Heraldic standard weapon. And the tab out of the company. We have the Dissia. And the Valhalla horn. And now, and that's all. Oh, now we have the first lot we saw Ragnarok to Tabard Company. I had this back. These ones are double sided. This is a weapon, blah blah blah, blah and that's the back of it. That's for buying it, I would imagine. Or some such. <coughs> And that is the front of this weapon, or artifact rather, and that's the back. And next we have one, two, three, let's see how many. We have all these with this colour back, the dark grey colour. Warriors at, break the lines, flying lance, piercing strike. Rally, Whirlwind, Chain Attack, Charge, Line of Defense, Resolution, Retreat, Stand and Fight, Cross Claws, Jump of Death, Preparing for Glory, Recall of the Chosen, Sentence and Valhalla. As you can see they're all colour coded, so one level will have the green, another level will have the red, and the final level will have the blue. <coughs> So that is how that works, <coughs> as I recall. And then we have these two uh, with the bluish coloured back. What we have in here is two lots of copper. And there we are. That's all we have in the line of cards. <coughs> so we'll get the little pack out and pop the cards in here <coughs> and now we have the uh, minis to look at so first off let's have a look at one set of minis <coughs> and we have these these are I just want to get the book out so I can see what they are Spanish Landschnechts, these are all the same um, mould, all the same pose, again just this cursory glance, I can't see mould lines, but some around the helmet there, all the detail on the mini is drowning out any mould lines I see, or any mould lines there are, and uh, there's a few on the boots there's a little bit there along the base, but nothing but a sharp knife can't cure. A little bit of flashing, not a problem. So we have one, two, three, four. Bit more flashing on this one, and uh, really misformed. Um, it's a very very thin blade. I'm not too impressed with that. That's going to be a bit of a pain to paint. <coughs> uh, I'll have to see if I can get um, a replacement for that. It's not good. That's going to snap very, very easily because there's nothing there. It's just like it's um, flashing. If I start scraping on that, it's probably going to break. But that's the only slight issue I've got. <coughs> um, in regards to the other issue I had with one of the ones I opened earlier, which was the uh, one of the art boxes, it looks like we got the right cards that was in it, there aren't any cards missing 
but there again saying that on the back of the box it says you've got another mini which is from a different box and it sells but it also says you get one uh, one card each whereas in the rules it shows you on the rule sheet it shows you get different cards but I don't know I really don't know anyway these are the Landschnechts we get again five of these I'm not quite sure what a Landschnecht is but these are they Again, as I said, we get five of these, just a cursory glance at each one to make sure that there's no underlying issues with them. Oops, apart from me dropping them, that is. <laughs> they all look fine to me. So I'll pop them back in the respective compartments of the tray. Next, we have this fella, who is the commander. more substantial weapon and battle hammer uh, that's a, what you call it, that's a um, a mop of uh, feather that he has in his helmet there we go and then we'll have this fella, who is, in fact, this is the, um, this is the Lancer, this is the hero character. I picked up the wrong one. <coughs> um, so previously we've looked at the um, Empire characters, we have one more Empire character left. I picked up the wrong one this time. Uh, but this is the Lancer, as I say. Nicely, mi uh, nicely moulded. Once again, very minimal on the um, mould lines. Mm. Cannot see any. But no doubt, as soon as I start spraying it, it will all, they'll all pop out. <laughs> the final one of the Empire Minis is the Jaeger. Which is a werewolf, basically. This is nice. It's going to be fun to paint this one. Not quite sure what these are sticking out from there. But, yes, we have a very nice werewolf mini. And then finally, for the papal forces. We have Giovanni del Bandnir. Uh, just a little bit of flushing there, which can be removed by a fingernail. Or not. Well, it can, yes, when you get your fingernail behind it. <laughs> well, there we are. A little bit of flashing, I can see there. It's usually on the uh, very fairly straight and flat areas that you see the flash uh, mold lines. Um, well, there's detail, you don't tend to see them. <coughs> but there we have the minis, the cards, and everything else for um, the Under Siege. Um, parts of this. So let's have another quick look at the rule book, shall we? This will give you an idea what we have. Okay, so we get a hero, which is the Lancer, we've had a look at. For that, you get the miniature, the hero sheet, skill cards, equipment cards, activation token, formula cards, and various tokens. Then you get five enemies, which are the Jaeger, the Commander, Giovanni del Bandnir the Landschnecht and the five Spanish Landschnecht. 
and then we have the 11 enemy cards and the 5 enemy activation tokens. We get the Under Siege rulebook which we're looking at, the 3 D Scenic Elements, 2 Persetto with 4 City Gates and 3 Falconettis, whatever they may be. And then we have 2 Copper Element cards, 4 enemy enemy cards, 3 ally tokens which is Luke, Jean and Mark, and 1 prisoner token who is Vint. Then we have the four double-sided tiles, City of Rome and the Arena, and then finally the various wound tokens. Um, so there we are, just have a look at the Lancer. Before we go any further, before we finish, have a quick, let's just bring this up a touch so we can have a proper look at the book. The artwork in it is Pretty, pretty nice. There you can see. There we are. I'm not going into the campaign. <coughs> I just wanted to show you what was in the book. I'll have a leaf through the campaign so you can see. There we are. We have a few pages. And we have the map there. Overall, and there we are. That's it. Novatus under siege. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>